Hi, my name is Mr. Faris. I am a consultant gynecologist working at the Lister Hospital in Chelsea in London. Most women who have screening for cervical cancer are tested normal. We use smear tests to screen for that. Whilst about 1 in 20 women will have a smear test result which is abnormal, only 1 in 2,000 will have a cervical cancer. Having an abnormal smear does not indicate cancer, but that could lead to cancer in the future. This could be due to inflammation or infection, or as a result of HPV infection, which is also used as a screening method to identify those who are high risk of developing cancer in the future. HPV is a common virus that most people are affected by at some point. HPV is now used as a screening tool on its own to select those who would need smear tests. Sometimes smear can be reported as abnormal even though no abnormalities exist on further examination. These abnormalities rarely cause symptoms such as discharge or bleeding. HPV is an acquired infection caught in majority of cases through close, intimate or sexual contact. But the infection is so common and so subtle that referral to sexually transmitted disease clinic is not appropriate. Smoking can make clearing of HPV from the body less effective and can make clearance of minor smear abnormalities slower and less efficient. Once a woman is diagnosed with abnormal smear and HPV positive, a colposcopy is needed. The finding of colposcopy indicates how much the neck of the womb is affected by abnormal cells. A colposcopy is basically a binoculars that is used to identify any abnormalities on the neck of the womb. There are different stages of abnormalities, which are generally called CIN1, CIN2 and 3. Most CIN1, which is a mild form, goes back to normal without treatment, but will need regular follow-up. CIN2 or 3 indicates moderate or severe changes in the thickness of the surface layer of the cervix. There are rare abnormalities called cervical glandular intraepithelial neoplasm, or CGIN. This is the same sort of precancerous changes involved in the inner layer of the canal of the neck of the womb. The area where abnormal cells most commonly developed is called the transformation zone. This is what is examined by the binoculars, which is the colposcopy. The treatment involves removal of part of the skin of the neck of the womb. This is done under local anesthetics and is done mostly as an outpatient setting. This abnormal area is removed using a wire loop through which an electric current is passed. It's called loop treatment.